The sky was the limit when this Miami woman gave her waterfront home a glamorous high-style makeover. But will all that flash turn into cash? It's all next on My House is Worth What? Monica and her husband Eduardo bought their ultra-modern Miami waterfront home back in 2002. Since then, they've made a number of high-end improvements. Now they have to decide if they want to add on or trade in their Biscayne Island gem for a bigger place. Monica, this is just gorgeous. What body of water are we looking out at? It's Biscayne Bay, and then the island's also called Biscayne Island. Did you have your heart set on this particular area? No, actually, one day we were riding around and we saw the house and we fell in love with it, and then we just bought it. How much did you and your husband pay for this house? Uh, we paid 1.8 million in 2002. And what's your grand total on upgrades? About 400,000. So if we add it up today, you're into this home, 2.2 million dollars. Exactly. All right, if you had to guess, what you think the house would sell for in today's market, what would that be? I would say like at least five million. Okay, that's a nice even number. Yeah. Five million dollars, you think that's realistic? I think it's realistic. Okay. With this great view, of course. Why did you want us to come here today to give you the value of your home? We're growing out of our house and we need more space, so I either want to add an addition to the house or I want to move. What happens if we deliver a number that's lower than what you're expecting? Either way, I'm going to make a profit. I mean, when I got this house, it was a steal anyway. It was like an amazing deal. Biscayn Island is located in a set of islands that is literally five minutes away from downtown Miami and South Beach. It's very exclusive. You got a lot of celebrities. There's a lot of challenges with the market these days, but this market is untouched. Waterfront in Miami, timeless. Wow, love this room. This is pretty spectacular. I know, look at the view. They spent $100,000 in the living and dining room areas. They staged it with this gorgeous high-end modern furniture. They upgraded all of the lighting, added some window treatments, and then they painted to give it a very clean white Miami feel. If they spent $100,000, they'll probably come out about $175. Okay. Emily, look at how amazing this outdoor space is. This is beautiful. They spent $120,000 transforming this into an entertaining outdoor space. More than half of that money went to installing the cable fence, and the rest of the money was spent installing a marble terrace, drapery, furniture, and then all the landscaping you see. Also, they have a jet ski lift, which is a must for Miami. So $120,000. What do you think? They'll get their money back, no problem. Believe it or not, this view alone adds $2 million to the house. I believe it. If we were across the street and on dry lot, we'd be singing a whole different tune. Check out the master bedroom suite. Well, the master bedroom suite includes the bedroom, the master bath, and a private office. I see. They spent $50,000 up here mainly upgrading to very nice wood floors and some work that they've done outside on the patio. I do really like the fact that they have a private terrace. That's a major plus. Yeah, I totally agree. Let's go outside and check out what they've done here. Please. Isn't this terrace just great? I mean, look at the size of it. What about this million dollar view? <laughs> wow. Well, they're hoping it's gonna be a $5 million view, and I think it's pretty spectacular. This terrace wasn't even finished when they bought the house, so they laid down all the wood planking and installed this ultra-modern cable fence. Well, I think the work they did inside, combined with this beautiful yeah. terrace, is gonna triple their money. The master bathroom is large, but a bit unusual, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, they spent about $3,000 in here. They faux painted the walls and they upgraded all the fixtures. So, 
Will Monica's high-end upgrades be enough to reach her top dollar goal? Monica and her husband have put a lot of money into fixing up their Miami home. Now they're hoping they can sell and move to a larger house. Monica, I know you're banking on five million dollars. Let's see what number Hemley delivers. <laughs> well, no pressure. You have a beautiful home and your location is superb. You are on Biscayne Island, which is a very coveted location. The fact that you're on the water and that gives you panoramic bay views, that is also priceless. And your attention to detail throughout the house Flawless. So is this hot property worth as much as Monica thinks it is? I have come up with a number. Are you ready to hear it? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, if I were to list your home in today's market, I would do it for 4.8 million. I'm happy with that. Are you? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I know we didn't hit the mark, but we came close. And you've made $2.6 million. Is that enough to sell? That's enough to sell. Okay, so I'm this, happy with that. this house is going up for sale.